Hi, I'm Rich Rushforth from Rich and Jenny in the Morning on Star 102.5. And I'm Jenny Cruz, and you know, Rich, 2016 was quite the year for everyone around the world. We lost so many celebrities last year. And we had a crazy election cycle. Who could have predicted the outcome? It went on through the overnight, an amazing outcome. And you know, while the rest of the world was watching those events kind of unfold, we were doing what we could to better the lives of those in our community. Our proximity to Fort Bragg makes us very conscious of the military. Patriots in the Pines is the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation's annual fundraiser. We host and emcee that event. $110 million so far raised, 37,000 scholarships awarded. It's amazing. I hosted the Are You Smarter Than a Moore County fifth grader. Um, that's put on by the Public Education Foundation. That's also a board I serve on, but we help grant money to teachers to be more interactive with their students in the classroom. That was pretty awesome. We had some fun too. We do our annual trike race for the benefit of the United <laughs> Way and their 21 agencies here in the Moore County area. And of course, I crushed it like Slayer. He had to ride a trike. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then of course, I looked ridiculous when I took the polar plunge. That was to help the North Carolina Special Olympics. I raised $1,500 in one day for that awesome organization. Another big event is the Duskin and Stevens Foundation event. They have a beef and beer, yep. a golf tournament. We had Tim Hasselbeck and his wife, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, and they participated as well. We raised, what, $150,000 for that. And that helps the families of fallen military men and women, so it was amazing. And Jen, the big weather event of the year, of course, Hurricane Matthew, and we got into the national news because of the Woodlake Dam. We covered that from soup to nuts. Our Stop Summer Hunger Day was very successful as well, Rich. Collectively, as a station, we were able to raise $14,000. But between the two of us, in three hours, we raised $9,000. It's pretty successful. But Rich, while we're bragging, and we really are, about all the great things that we did last year, some of our listeners did not feel the same way about us. In fact, some of them were downright... Um, Harsh. Mean. Hey Rich, they're doing personality implants now. You should look into that. Really? <laughs> Jenny's star costume for the polar plunge was missing one thing. A mask to cover her face. Boy, it's great you've kept the same hairstyle from the 1970s. That way if you meet anyone from the 70s, they'll recognize you. Oh man, are these real? Why did Jenny host the Are You Smarter Than a Moore County 5th grader? I doubt she made it past the 4th grade. I actually went to college. Uh, here's short but effective. Two words, radio tool. <laughs> That's just me. So 2016 was quite a year for Rich and Jenny and Muirfield Broadcasting, and also for radio. We got to again show how radio is so vital to a local community, really part of the fabric of the area we serve, Jen. We want to thank you so much for your consideration of us being the morning team of the year. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, well, I guess you can just tweet about it.